All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson 16. And in this lesson, we're gonna be comparing two three-digit numbers using that, you know, that, that like less than and greater than and equal symbol thing. Um, and we're gonna be using the place value disks to do that, although I'm also going to talk about the empty number line. So the idea is if we want to know which number is less, so we can start by doing the place value uh, disks, all right? So we're going to have ones, tens, and then hundreds, and uh, ones, tens, and hundreds, all right? And we're going to do, there you go, and then we're going to model that. And so if we want to model 105, and I'll do, I'll model 105 with blue, okay? So that's going to look like this. There's your 100, and then 5 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right there. So there is our model for 105, and then let's model 135 in red, and of course that's going to look like 100, and then 10, 20, 30. 35 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right there. So there's 135. And now we want students to compare. Well, which one is bigger or which one is less? In this case, they're, they're specifically asking us which one is less. And we can compare that, well, they, have, they both have 100. They both have 5. But 35, 135 has these three tens that this guy doesn't have. And so, therefore, we know that 105 is less than 135. Now, here's your Dwayne Haubecker bonus here. I'm going to talk about the uh, empty number line. Uh, parents and teachers, you can use this just to augment your explanation. Uh, you do not need to. In fact, you're not expected to use this as your primary technique. Uh, but let's say we, we have two identical number lines and they both start at zero and they both have a hundred right here and they both go up to 200 right here. All right, now, if we were going to model 105 on our empty number line, now this time we are going to kind of um, do this proportionally. Um, so what would 105 look like? Well, it would be a big jump of 100, and then it would be five little ones. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we would end up at 105, right there. Now, let's do the same thing for 135. Now, what would that look like? Well, that would be one big jump of 100, the exact same as 105, but now we've got three jumps of 10, then our jumps of five, all right? Now, this didn't work out very exact, but you get the idea that it's just another way to show students that 135 is bigger than 105 in that you get this concept of, I don't know, like walking down the street big hop down the street, and then five little steps. A big hop, three little um, medium hops, and then five little ones. So this is a visual way to show that 135 is bigger than 105. Now, Eureka Math is only talking about the place value disks, but for students who just are not getting the place value disks, give this empty number line idea a try. So here we're going to go back to that place value disks because that's what Eureka Math is asking us to do. And we can see that we're supposed to start with modeling. And so these are our hundreds. And then we're going to have four tens. And then we're going to have one one. So there's 241. Now we have 412. Well, what is 412 going to look like? Well, that's going to be 100. 100, 100, and 100. So we've got four hundreds, a 10, and two ones. 
And then lastly, 124, what is that going to look like? Well, that's going to have 100, it's going to have 10 and 10, and then it's going to have four ones. All right. So now, in order to compare these numbers, now we have to look, and it says from least to greatest. Well, we can start by seeing that this guy has two hundreds, this has four hundreds, and this has one hundred. Automatically, this makes this guy the least. So 124 is the least. And then we can go back and compare these two, and we can see that this guy has two in the hundreds, this guy has four in the hundreds. So that makes 241 the next least, and 412 the greatest. So that's from least to greatest. And teachers, once again, if you wanted to model this on a number line, an idea might be to give your students, let's see, 200, 400, and so we can give them some sense, oops, 300, a sense of a number line and say, okay, well, where would 124 go? Would it go here or here? And they would say, well, 124 is bigger than 100, but less than a 200. So, oh, let's put a dot right here for 124. And then you could say, well, how about 241? Where would that go? Is it going to be in this range? No. Is it going to be in this range? Yeah. And you could say, well, 241, well, that's a little less than halfway. So that's 241 right here. And then finally, where would we put 412? Well, 412 is going to be way beyond the 400, way over here, 412. So that's where you can show it visually on an, a number line where these numbers are. And the, the further to the right you go, the bigger you get. For these problems, we're not quite ready for students to be using the official less than, greater than, or equal symbols. We just want them to read the sentence. For example, let's take a look at A. 112 is less than or greater than 135. Hmm. Which one? Is 112 less than or is 112 greater than 135? And of course, it's less than. So we're going to circle less than. All right. Now it gets a little tricky, huh? Let's go up to question F. Question F. Four tens and two ones. Hmm. Well, four tens and two ones, that's going to look like this, 42. And then 24 is 24. So, hmm, this is another way to think of 24 would be two tens. So four tens is greater than two tens. So that means we need the greater than symbol. And lastly, now we're, we're using that, those official greater than, less than, or equal symbols. And uh, I, I thought really what I would do is, let's look at a couple of these. Let's look at D. Well, what is 602? Well, that if we wanted to, we could look at it in the place value. 602 would be right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the hundreds, and 2 in the ones place, so technically that would look like 602, so that's 602. So that tells us that these two guys are equal. Even though they don't, don't look the same, they're totally equal. And then uh, I thought another one we would try is, let's look way back here. Six tens plus eight ones, and then 50 plus 18. So 50 plus 18, we might need our students to say, well, 18 can be thought of as 10 plus 8. And then 50 plus 10 is 60 plus 8, so that's 68. Oh, another example of them being equal. And of course, that's not always going to be the case. In fact, question F right above it, we see that nine tens and six ones is going to be bigger than nine tens and two ones. So we're going to have that symbol there. And of course, it's okay to use that classic alligator symbol trick 
you know, m mnemonic that the alligator always eats the bigger number. And, and that's okay. We, now, we do want students to eventually learn the proper term that this is greater than and this is less than. But in the meantime, let's use, we, it's free, we're okay, it's fine for us to use the alligator mnemonic. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 16, Comparing Numbers with Those Symbols.